Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. It's very nice to see you and it is nice to be back here shaving. Uh, just before I switched the camera on, I was uh, looking in the mirror and I noticed this uh, little thing here. Can you see that red mark? I don't know if that's a, an ingrown hair or not, but we shall see. Anyway, uh, yeah, good to see you, good to be back here. Um, I hope you're all well and enjoying life. Uh, the weather here in the UK and Scotland, Scotland's part of the UK, I know that, maybe you didn't, um, has been fantastic this week, really, really nice. Uh, warm temperatures for February, uh, going into March, yeah, really, really nice, bright sunshine and it's sunny again today, uh, which makes you feel a little bit better, uh, rather than that doom and gloom of the snow, wind, rain, hail, sleet. <laughs> that uh, we're usually associated with at this time of the year in Scotland, but um, yeah, it's nice. Okay, today's shave is a, a new brush and a new soap. So first of all, let me show you the soap, and before I go any further, this is going to be a long video, so anyone that doesn't enjoy these long types of videos, uh, I just want to warn you now, this is going to be quite long. So I'll show you the soap, uh, and then I'll show you it more in detail. It's uh, Pereras. Pereras uh, shaving soap. It says shaving cream on it, but it's a soap. It's uh, with activated charcoal. Comes in this container here, uh, and there's the soap there. Smells like Mitchell's wheel fat to me, but a, a little bit stronger. Um, yeah, very nice, but I was uh, given this as a gift at Christmas by Mrs. Kevy. Um, she got it for me at the gentleman's groom room, the shaving store here in Dundee. So what I'll do just now, before I show you the razor and stuff like that and the brush, uh, I'll let you guys go and have a closer look at this uh, beautiful um, package for, from Pereras Shaving uh, in Portugal. So have a look at this and uh, we'll come back and then we'll start the shave. Okay, here is the lovely wooden box this um, soap comes in, Pereras. It says shaving cream on here, but um, it's... Uh, it's definitely a soap, uh, made in Portugal. Yeah, this is kind of, you see, this is kind of like burnt into the wood. Yeah, this lovely uh, wooden box. Yeah, very nice. It has a little piece here for your thumb just to go in. Pull that back. Uh, and the soap is in here. Let me just move the box out of the way. I shall get this out safely wrap in bubble wrap. So I'll put that back in the box. So here it is here. Um, it comes in three parts. Uh, the top part, the middle part, which is the soap, and the bottom part there. So it all fits together nicely like that. It has the logo um, on, the f on the cover here, this beautiful porcelain lid. Uh, and inside the lid, is the information with the ingredients which you can take a look at there uh, yeah very nice very nicely done um, it does cost a little bit extra but it's really worth it if you if you like this sort of thing if you're like me a collector of these things like this <laughs> it's, re it's really nice yeah very good uh, there's the soap there um, it smells to me it smells kind of like Mitchell's wool fat a little bit, but uh, I'm looking forward to using it. Yeah, very nice. I think, I'm not sure, I think you are able to buy refill puck for this. But again, very nicely made. Uh, and the bottom part here, um, which is the, the mug has uh, another Pereira, Pereira Shavery Portugal. Um, yeah, just another logo. Uh, and this has a handle here, a bit for your brush to sit in. Uh, and inside the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, there's um, like little ridges. Uh, if you want a bowl lather, or kind of mug lather, I guess you would call it. Yeah, a nice, nice piece for your thumb. Uh, for your thumb? Uh, yeah, that's, that's not my thumb. <laughs> there we go. Uh, your brush sits in here, uh, and you can bowl lather in the bottom of that. Just... Uh, gather the soap from this. But the other good thing I like about this is uh, you can put hot water in this and you can either sit the soap like that to let it bloom, maybe even put the, the lid on 
um, like that. So you can bloom the soap while you're prepping your face or having your shower or whatever it is you do to get ready for your shave. So the hot water could be sitting in the bottom of this, the mug part, uh, and the steam can just be um, activating the soap, just letting it bloom a little bit with uh, no water on the top of it, or you can put water on the top of the soap. But the other thing you can do, you can fill um, this with a little bit of hot water on the bottom there, and you can actually put the soap in. Um, so there's the soap, you can turn it upside down. So the steam from the water is coming up directly onto the surface of the soap just to make it easier to lather and bloom it and just release the scents and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, that's what I really like about it. But it's just a, a lovely, lovely um, thing to have. I like it. If you're like me, you collect these sort of nice things with a box and it's, uh, it's a little bit traditional. I know some people will think, oh, I'm not paying that much money for that. It's just the soap I want to try. But um, yeah, I definitely like it. It's a, it's a quality piece of work. Yeah, and here's, here's the box, as you can see. Very nice with the lid. Yeah, I, I just like it. I, I think it's um, very nice. It makes me feel good. <laughs> um, yeah, again, so just, just these little touches. There's not many people do this sort of thing these days. It just uh, it harks back to a time of days gone by when things were made. Um, people took care and made things nicely. Yeah, I just like it. Yeah, you can see the ridges in there. And uh, there's the soap. Charcoal activated, but I'm looking forward to using this. As I say, it it smells a little bit like Mitchell's Wheel Fat, but slightly stronger. It has a, a, a nicer scent to it. A similar scent, but uh, it, it's, uh, it's nicer, I think. Okay, so I'll put this all back together. There it is there. Pereras with activated charcoal. So let's go and uh, we'll start the shave. That's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, very, very good. I love stuff like that. Okay, the razor for today is the Parker 24C. Uh, this is an open comb razor. Very nice. I've used this before, but uh, yeah, I like it. The knurling on the handle, quite a long handle, and the knurling is fantastic. Really, really grippy. Uh, it's a three piece, comes apart like that, yeah, uh, there's the top cap and the base plate. Uh, and inside that, something new for me, uh, I'm going to use a Paul Silver Super Iridium. Now I've used these blades before, but the difference with this blade, uh, this has always already been used three times. So this is its fourth use. Now as you know, or as some of you might know, uh, I usually only use a blade three times and then it goes in the blade bank. But uh, I'm going to give this a go. Fourth use on this. Uh, so I should just put that on there. Put the bottom cap on. Screw the handle in. Yeah, it's a nice weight to this razor. Park razors are great. Very good. No issues. Uh, there's the blade there. Yeah, looks good. Uh, the brush, this is a, a new brush for me. Um, I was sent this by Abraham at West Coast Shaving. Uh, it's one of their own brushes, uh, which I'll show you in just a second. It comes in this lovely package tube. Uh, cardboard, thick, thick cardboard. I'm just gonna put that up there. So here's the brush uh, as it comes out of the tube. Yeah, so this is their um, two-tone tall series. Uh, this has a kind of retro feel to it. You get this in three colors, red and white, which I have. Uh, you also get it in, I think it's grey, grey and black, and you also get it in blue and white. But I'll put a link in the description, and you can go and check it out. And it has this coin in the bottom, West Coast Shaving, 26mm. Yeah, this is a synthetic knot, very, very soft. They also do it in um, badger hair as well, should you wish to purchase that, if that's your thing. But um, for anyone that's worried about, about animals being... Um, hurt or damaged and used for shaving brushes. Uh, this is a synthetic knot, so yeah, nice brush. Very nice, like a retro style handle. I'll show you in. Um, there's how, how tall it is. All the specs are on the website, so you can go and have a look at it. But looking forward to using this. Okay, that's the brush, razor, soap and blade. Here's this uh, 
Pereras activated charcoal soap. Uh, let's wet the brush. Um, I'll give it a squeeze and uh, we'll see how this lathers. Yeah, straight away it's, uh, it's gathering soap. Yeah, I've seen a few videos on this uh, soap. I'm just going to dip the tips of the brush onto that. Yeah, you would think the lather would be um, black or grey with the, the charcoal, but it actually looks looks okay. Yeah, so I'll just keep gathering the soap here. So how have your shaves been going? Well, I hope. Yeah, this is a. It is. It's like um, it's like Mitchell's wool fat on steroids. Uh, the scent on this. Some people don't like Mitchell's wheel fat, it doesn't have a strong scent, but this does. It's really nice. Yeah, I think um, I think the whole package with the box and the, the ceramic mug and stuff like that, I think it's a little bit expensive for, for some people. Uh, some people might just want to try the soap. But um, as I say, I got it as a gift from Mrs. Kerry at Christmas time, so this is the first time I'm using it. Uh, and as you can see, look, it's uh, yeah whipped up a nice lather. Okay, I'll just uh, I'll use some of this. I'll wet my face. I'll use some of this lather from the puck. There it is there. It doesn't look grey or black. Wow, what a scent! Really nice. Yeah, much stronger than Mitchell's wool fat. A lot stronger. Mitchell's fill fat, fill fat, Mitchell's fill fat, <laughs> Mitchell's wool fat. Uh, if that scent was a, say a three, this would probably be about a seven. Yeah, very good. I'm just going to take my time and relax and enjoy this shave. What's the hurry? Okay, here's the brush. I'll just uh, paint this on for to start with and then we'll add water as we go. Yeah, look, a nice splay on this brush as you can see. 26 millimeter. It has a little bit of backbone, but it's, uh, it's really soft. The they're not in this. And I'm just dipping the tips there. And yeah, I probably I probably used um, too much soap, but it's the first time using it, so it's the only way you kind of learn. I like to load the brush so there's more than enough. Yeah, just uh, Dipping the brush again. As you can see, starting to add some water to it, and it's uh, really exploding into beautiful lather. Yeah, some people just, uh, I've said this before, some people just like to put the lather on and uh, and then just get right into the shave. I like, to, I like the lather experience to be, um, the lathering part to be part of the enjoyable part of the shave. There's nothing better than a nice soft brush, lovely thick creamy lather going up uh, onto your skin. Good. Okay, we'll tidy up here. Some heat into this blade. Yeah, new territory for me. Paul Silver on its uh, fourth use. But, uh, here we go. Parker 24C open comb. 
Wow, that feels um, very nice. Yeah, open comb razors uh, have a little bit more bite to them, so uh, just be aware of that. As you can see, a little, <laughs> a little weeper already. Yeah, they are, um, open comb razors are a little bit more aggressive, uh, so no pressure whatsoever pushing onto the blade. Nice slickness. Parker makes some great razors. I don't think I've shaved the same way twice, ever. <laughs> you know, you kind of get into a routine. Like, um, like some people will shave here, down to here, and then they'll shave this side down to here, and they'll leave this kind of bit here, and then they'll shave their neck. Look, look at these little dots. Yeah, you have to be careful. Uh, but I just kind of go with the flow and uh, wherever my hand goes, that's where I shave first. Yeah, I'm leaving this bit to last because if that is a, an ingrown hair, I'll need to be careful. scent on this soap is really nice. It's like a clean soapy scent but very strong. And the uh, tall silver seems to be doing the job. Doesn't feel uh, like tuggy in any way or anything. Very good. Okay, first pass done. Let's just have a. Yeah, if you put water on it, it's slick. Yeah, like a couple little dots here. Okay, let me rinse. I'll come back for pass number two. Nicely rinsed off. Back for the second pass. Yeah, it feels. Um, there is some residual slickness in there. I've uh, I felt better, but um. It's definitely there. Right, before I start this pass, I'll just give you guys another look at the ingredients and you can pause this here and take a look. Okay, let's uh, go back to this brush look. Plenty of lather in here. Yeah, I think you can. Uh, I think you can buy this Barreras uh, soap in different scents. I'll put the link to their website, and I think you can also buy the, this one. Just the puck on its own, and kind of use your own container and stuff like that. Oh, this brush feels great. Yeah, very soft and uh, luxurious feeling. Look at that. Uh, bristle there. Yep. Or a fiber. Yeah, I like I like the uh, West Coast shaving coin. Let me just uh, get that the right way around so you guys can see it. Very nice. Nice little touch. With their logo. Very good. Okay, second pass with the Parker 24C. 
I'm just looking at the box here because I always forget what, what, what razor this is, the 24C. Yeah, this soap uh, is slick enough. It's good glide. Yeah, very good glide. Razor, yeah, tiniest amount just at the side there. I don't know if you can see it, yeah, there. But if you do that, you can feel it. But there's not much, but enough to just be careful. A, an ingrown hair or just a little spot I'm not sure thank you for all the comments on the uh, the videos um, and thanks to those of you that joined me live on uh, Sunday and uh, we, were out, we were out for a walk uh, with the dogs and uh, I don't know, I just took a notion to go live because uh, it was such a beautiful day and the, the scenery and stuff like that. And I just thought, um, yeah, I just wanted to share it. So hopefully some of those of you that joined us, thank you. Hopefully uh, showing you some of Scotland that you might never see. Somebody said I should have shaved up there, but I probably will one day. In the forest. I think Paul H has done that a couple of times, so... Um, he likes his uh, outdoor stuff. Walks and stuff like that. nice. Yeah, I can really smell the scent of that soap. Very good. Okay, second pass done. Feels lovely. Let me rinse. I'll come back for pass number three. Three. <laughs> okay, nicely rinsed off. Still plenty of lather in this brush. Yeah, and it hasn't, uh, the lather hasn't dried out or anything so please with that yeah lovely fresh clean soapy scent another, another bristle there which is uh, only to be expected when you get a new brush with the Parker 24C with the Paul Silver on its fourth use fourth use you say Kerry? yeah fourth use but I thought you had bin blades after three uses I know
So did I. <laughs> yeah, look. If that was a little spot, I've just uh, taken the top part of the skin off it. Felt that there. Great feedback. On this uh, razor. Thank you for all the comments again on the uh, top five blades. Yeah, lots of people um, sharing their top five. Yeah, some uh, great lists. Um, there was one blade on a lot of people's list. Well, not a lot of people, but uh, quite a few that kept popping up the name Shark. Shark blades. I've used the shark blade in the past, but I can't remember what it was like. And um, so I need to revisit those. Yeah, I need to revisit the, the shark blades. Yeah, it's not um, it's not ultra slick. The but it's slick enough if you wet it. It's uh, it's good. But the uh, residual slickness, it's there, but it's not it's not um, it's not the best I've had. But it's definitely there, definitely. Okay, three passes done. Let me have a little feel about. For pickups, yeah, the usual spots. That feels great. Yeah, just a light touch. With the uh, with, with the open combs. Very comfortable thought. A little bit there. Feels good. Okay. Good. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, look how much leather that's given up. Still nice and peaky. 
Very nice. Okay, I'm going to have a face wash with this um, activated charcoal. So, people often ask me, um, what does the activated charcoal do? Well, I usually just say, I don't know. It, um, it activates the charcoal in the charcoal, which makes it good for your skin. I sometimes say that, but most of the time I just say, I don't know. Okay, I've, um, I've left my face wet just now because I'm, I'm going to just apply some alum. Um, so here's the alum block just to see if there's much feedback. Yeah, a little bit on this bit. Feels good over there. Feels good. A tiny bit there. Yeah, nothing over here. Feels good. Okay, I'll leave this on for a couple of minutes, clean the rest of my gear out, uh, rinse it off with cold water, and I'll be back for the post, 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 post shave. See you soon. Nice shave. Nice shave. Okay, I've used the alum, so I'm just going straight to the aftershave. Not used this for a while. Floyd Black. Uh, this is a, a Spanish aftershave, like a barbershop type scent. <sighs> Beautiful. Really nice. A little splash of that. Yeah, that little thing there has uh, it hasn't opened up any, so hopefully the alum has uh, sorted it. It's oh, a great smell, really nice, like a an old school barbershop scent. Very nice, very masculine. Floyd Black. Uh, and to put the protection back and the moisture, uh, Nivea Men body shaving. Uh, this comes in a aftershave lotion, this comes in a pump. Two pumps. It's probably way too much. Not for the big head of yours, Kevy, I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, just rub that in. Yeah, one pump would probably have been enough there, but no mind, I'll put it on my arms. Nice shave, very nice. Feels great. How long has this video went on for now? Six hours. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, yeah. let me show you what I've used again. Very nice. Feels great. Okay, the razor for today was the Parker 24C. Uh, the open comb razors. Razors? Open combs on this razor. Uh, nice handle, great knurling, nice weight. Uh, inside that, Paul Silver, fourth use. Paul Silver Super Iridium. Fourth use on that blade. Uh, I think of that, that'll that be a bin now. I'm not going to take any more chances. I have plenty of blades, so uh, yeah. But a nice razor, very good Parker. The brush, excellent. The West Coast Shaving 26mm synthetic. This is the two tone tall. Uh, two colours, red and white. Synthetic knot, very soft. Whipped up the lather, no problem. Felt very luxurious on the face. Great brush. Uh, as I say, I'll put links to everything and you can go and check them out. The soap for today, Pereras Shavery. Pereras Shavery, Portugal. Uh, it says shaving cream on here, but it's definitely a soap. Uh, charcoal activated soap. Very, very good. Uh, here's the soap here, all cleaned out. Yeah, very nice. Comes in this lovely 
ceramic presentation with a box and stuff like that. But uh, it smells like Mitchell's wool fat on steroids. That's what it smells like. Yeah, it's good. Uh, good soap. Just slick. The, the glide on it was great. The slickness, uh, residual slickness was was okay. It was there when you wet it, but um, it could have been a little bit more. But still performed wonderfully well. Um, a nice soap to use. A beautiful scent. I really like the scent. And as I say, that the easy to lather and the cushion and glide were very good. It's just the slickness was a little bit lacking in that department. Uh, it could have been better, but I'm, I'm not complaining because uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, we then applied the Allen block, left the face wet, applied the Allen block, and then the aftershave was Floyd Black, and the balm was the Nivea Men Body Shaving Aftershave Lotion Anti-Irritation. And that, ladies and gents, boys and girls, hamburgers and cheeseburgers, hot dogs and onions, hot dogs and onions, that's a new one, uh, yeah, that's the shave. As you can see, very good, very happy. No irritation, nice and close. Yeah, great, I really enjoyed it. Great products, um, hope your shaves are going well and uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying using what you have. What you have is what you have and uh, don't be tempted to, to see all this stuff and think, oh, I must have that, I must have that, I must have that. Just use what you've got. Um, it's easy to get caught up when you start out shaving this way, to buy the latest soap and razors and I've done it myself and it's, it's great fun, um, but try not to get too caught up in it. Just enjoy enjoy your shaves using what you have uh, and uh, yeah, enjoy it. Okay, that's all for me for today. I'll see you in the next video. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of this week. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care.